What are you doing? Go, you know where to go. <laughs> and when you know something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen! Welcome back to another video on Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. And this video, I'm going to be proving that having a dream is so important. Having a dream and visualising, being optimistic and knowing what you want without knowing how you're going to get it initially is key to your success. I just watched one of Russell Brand's videos, his recent videos, talking about how Lewis Hamilton has been penalised by the public because he wants to be, he's vegan and he wants to live a more ethical life, I suppose, a more eco-friendly life. So my key with having a dream and having a vision is, and here's something that I always like to do, because having a dream and having a vision and something to inspire you all the time is so powerful, because if you don't have anything that's going to inspire you, you're never going to want to live a great life. And the only way to truly live a great life is doing things that you have purpose behind. Just drive, 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 drive. <laughs> Let's get it. Ah! You're on the wrong side. We're living a good life. We're always happy. Ah! Camera fell. Okay, today it is not in. How do I? How do I do this? How do I do this? I'm gonna do this so it doesn't fall. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hold it. Oh god, there's a car. I'm just gonna hold it before it falls again. So you might have to move it, Mark. You can move with the steering wheel. Hey! Have a dream and dream a good life. Every. Ah! Okay, I need my wipers. That's it, that's it. <laughs> I'll pull over. I'll pull over, mate. There we go. That's. Oh, I think I've mastered it. Right. I think I've mastered it. Yes. That's it. That's what we want. It needs to sit in there nice and nice and perfectly. Let's hope going around this corner it doesn't fall down. Oh, wrong gear. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. Oh, yes. He's only going to master it. Beep, beep. So having a dream and having a vision, this is something that I want to inspire people to do. Creating a vision board. It's very easy to make. I'll show you my vision board when I get home. It's very easy to make. It's literally just putting things that you want to happen in your life. Um, whether it's you, I don't know, speaking on stage in front of people. Whether it's you starting your own business. Whether it's you uh, creating a YouTube channel. Whether it's you having the love of your life as a relationship. Whether it's you going on holiday every other week. Whatever it is that you want to do, have something inspiring to put on there. Because if it's inspiring, amazing. But here's something that I want everyone to try and do is go and message your three to five favourite celebrities that you want to work with in the future. And just leave that message in there. Because a few, there's, I, I don't know how many, maybe five or six people that I've messaged. Maybe more, I don't know. And just said, like, I appreciate all you do. I'm grateful for all you do. But I know one day we're going to work together. And this message is proof so that in five, I don't know, five, ten years time, maybe twenty, I don't know how long it's going to be, when I work with that person, I can show other people that there's the proof. Here's the proof that that I knew it was going to happen. And when you know something's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm also going to tell you about a story, a very funny story when I was in Bali and in Bali basically they, their version of Uber is it's called Gojek and it's, it's, they have, you can get food, you can get massages, you can get whatever, you can literally get everything on it and I remember I got a lift and they pick you up on the back of a motorbike, a little moped, very dangerous, the roads are absolutely like, so dangerous, if I've got a video I'll put it, I'll put it in a video of the roads.
it was just it was just crazy. I literally got on the back of this motorbike and the guy picked me up from the shopping center as I was getting some presents for some people. And I got on and for starters he wasn't even part of the Gojo, so I wasn't even sure if he was the right one, but I was like, oh well he's he's I'm, I'll get on, screw it, why not? Don't don't jump on a stranger's bike, kids. Don't do it. It's not next, was not 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 ideal. He didn't speak a word of English, literally not a word of English. He's literally looking at me and I'm just like, you know where to go, yeah? You know where to go? Do I, do I, do I, do I, no, no. You, uh, you know where to go, yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah? Like, you know, communication when you sort of, you do all these hands. You, you know where to go. Go, you know where to go. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on the bike. Been driving for about 25 minutes. And I'm like, well, I do not recognize any of this. It only took me 25 minutes to get here the other day. Where, where am I? I'm looking around. I look and I realize we're going towards the airport, which is about an hour away. I was like, why are we going to the airport? So I just tapped him. I was like, pull over. Pull here, I need to go here. This is where I need to go. And he's like, no, no. Bear in mind there was, this, there was only one foot peg. So I've got one foot dangling off the whole way for 25 minutes. Bear in mind, we've gone 25 minutes out, so it's another 20, another ha half an hour, no, another 40 minutes back. So I'm just like, oh, what's going on here? Pull over, and I just look at, I just, just look at where I am. I get my phone out. Luckily, I had service out there because I was out there for a while. I said, here. He puts the the route in his phone. There's grey lines everywhere, which is every road. There's one blue line, one blue line. He doesn't know how to follow a blue line. I'm literally looking at him, I'm just like, blue, blue, this one, follow, follow. And you know when you speak to someone that doesn't speak your language, you just speak really stupidly. Follow line, you follow line. <laughs> and he just, he just looked at me and he was just like, well, I literally got off, I was like, do you want me to drive? I was like, I can drive, I know where I am now. Then it started raining. I'm literally, I got just a helmet, shorts and t-shirt on with a fake open face, so rain just hitting me in the face. I had my phone out so I could tell him where to go. So my phone was soaked, his phone was soaked. And then when I got to my destination, he expected more money. I mean, although it was only about a pound to do the journey, he was like, more? And I was like, no, I was like, it was your fault. I was like, that wasn't my fault. I was like, I'm nice and everything, but that was, that was nothing to do with me. So I, I just said, follow the blue line. And he, for some reason, he kept driving straight, like it said turn left, he'd keep going straight. T go straight, he'd turn left. I'm like, where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> it was just so funny. And I got in and I was covered in rain. Co covered in rain. I was, I was soaked. <laughs> but I always said to myself at the end, I said, it could have been worse. It could have been way worse. I could have fallen off. There was people working in that rain. I said, I could have been working in that rain. Luckily I was going home to to a nice villa to go and chill and do nothing. So there's always a worse situation it could have been. It's all about perspective! Woo! So take yourself back to the good old days and build yourself a vision board. Now this is a vision board. <coughs> it's very, very simple to make. It's just basically putting what you want in life. And as you can see, this is my first one I made and you can see how much I've changed. Not too much, but what difference I, I, I aspire in life. As you can see, this one has many, many cars on it. <laughs> many holidays, many watches, <laughs> many, many holidays, even money and yachts <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's just fun. It's something that when you start to look at something enough times, it starts to become familiar. When it becomes familiar, it becomes part of you. When it becomes part of you, it starts to happen. It really starts to happen. So this is my the, the newest one I made. I'm actually missing some letters from the thing. Obviously I'm missing. I didn't just put of, I meant love <laughs> and smile. Um, but as you can see, there's positivity, meditation. There's still the cars, there's still the holidays. There's still loads of quotes and just positive, empowering words. And the power of subconscious reprogramming comes from what you look at, what you think about. And obviously if you're looking at something empowering and positive every day, you're gonna start thinking them thoughts. You're gonna think, how can I get there? You activate part of the brain called the RAS, the reticular activating, activating system. And your brain is searching for why your thoughts, so the thoughts that you have is searching for thoughts and reasons why your thoughts are true. 
So if you're saying I'm successful all the time, your brain is searching for why that is true and it will find paths, it will open doors. And that's when synchronicities and even things like miracles, they just start to happen. So use things like this, use, use vision boards, put affirmations in your room. Look. So I hope this video, you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching my car journey home. I'm going to be doing this virtually every day, I think, now. I'm going to do a, a clog, car vlog. <laughs> going to do it. Going to inspire you. Going to tell you some stories, some random stories that have happened in my life. I hope you like them. I hope this video has inspired you. I hope you've gained something from this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, kindness, and positivity. Bye.